In January 2021, a new world record was set for a bottle of Port Ellen selling it to auction. And that record stands now at 72,000 pounds. We're gonna take a look at that bottle and see what made it so expensive and what makes it so collectible. 72,000 pounds is a heck of a lot of money for anything, let alone a single bottle of whiskey. And we're fortunate enough that we've got that bottle here with us today. So let me just go and get it. There it is. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's just a piece of paper. I really wish that we had the uh, bottle here, uh, but we don't. We've just got this cut out of it. So what made this bottle worth 72,000 pounds and what is it? Well, first of all, what is it? It's a bottle of Port Ellen. 12 year old bottled on the occasion of the visit from Her Majesty the Queen to the Port Ellen Maltings in Isla on the 9th of August 1980. There are many things that make this bottle special so let's go through them. First of all it is the only official release of Port Ellen that was released from the distillery while the distillery was active. Now the Port Ellen distillery had a bit of a chequered history. It was set up in 1824 and it was operational until around 1930. It was then silent but reopened in 1967-68 and remained open until 1983. It's currently closed but it's currently being revamped and refurbished by Diageo and it's planned to come online in 2020 but we're hoping it comes online in 2021. Now that's notable for a few things. So this is the only official Port Ellen bottling that's ever been released. Port Ellen was used as a, as a blend, you know, producer for producing whiskey to go into blended whiskey. So it's the only official sing, uh, release from the distillery. So that makes it special for one. Number two, it was released for the, uh, for the for Her Majesty's Queen's visit to the Maltings. Now, what's interesting here is that it wasn't the visit to the distillery that the Queen was visiting, it was visiting the Port Ellen Maltings. Now, the Port Ellen Maltings was set up in 1973 on the grounds of the distillery, and if you see any photographs, you'll see that it dwarfs the entire distillery. Yes. Set up in 1973 to produce the malt for the Lagavulin, the Port Ellen and the Kalila distilleries. And it's still in operation today, the Maltings. So it's interesting that the Queen wasn't visiting the distillery. No, 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 this, this distillery is not really worth that much. But the Maltings that are there, fantastic, will bring the Queen in to look. And now in 2021, people are paying £72,000 for a single bottle of the whiskey that was produced there. So it's, it's an enigmatic bottle. There were only about 40 bottles released that we are aware of. There's no spirit strength or capacity stated, so it doesn't state the ABV or how much liquid's in the bottle. And also, it isn't even in a unique bottle. The bottle, because Port Ellen didn't produce any of its own releases, they had to borrow a bottle from one of the other DCO brands, Oban, to release it. So now we've had a look at the bottle itself, or the cutout of the bottle itself, let's look at the price history of this bottle, because this is utterly fascinating. And I wish, I wish I hadn't really researched it because in 2011, you could buy this bottle at auction and a bottle was sold at, in, in 2011 by McTears for 3,200 pounds. And that is actually below the low estimate of the bottle at auction, which was 3,500 pounds. Now, the history is quite fascinating. There is another sale of around 6,000 pounds in Bonhams, but then in 2015, Serge Valentin, the fantastic uh, whiskey reviewer from Whiskey Fun. So if you want to go and check out the Whiskey Fun review, make sure you do. He tasted it and he scored it pretty much a perfect 99 out of 100 points. And I think his summary was, to sort of paraphrase his summary was, I will never drink a better whiskey than this in my life. So it's, and Serge is, one of the most respected or the most respected critic on the planet for whiskey. So if he says it's the best whiskey in the world, then a lot of people will carry credence with that and that will carry weight with collectors. So that might be one of the reasons why it's increased so much in value because in 2016, a year after his perfect review or almost perfect re review, it sold for £12,100 at auction. And then this bit, it might be a coincidence, it might not be a coincidence, but in 2018, Diageo announced that they were going to reopen the Port Allen distillery. Funnily enough, the price of this bottle jumps in auction to £50,000. And then again to 2021, that was just sold to £72,000. So what is driving that monumental and stratospheric increase in value? Well, I think, first of all, you've got the 
the new recognition of the distillery. During its time in operation, it was said that delivery drivers wouldn't even take a free dram. Now, I don't know how true that is, by the way, but it's, it was never considered enough to release its own single malts. This is the only one that was ever done as a special edition for the Queen's visit to the maltings. Now, secondly, was it the perfect score? 99 out of 100. You can't really get perfect whiskey, but this is damn near as close as you can get. That might have been. But I think it's the increased exposure and understanding of the distillery that has happened subsequently. So, and in one of our other videos, we talked about the history of the Port Allen annual releases that were released from Diageo, and that did a huge amount to in increase the visibility of the Port Allen distillery and the Port Allen whiskey to whiskey drinkers and collectors. And there's been quite a lot of other Port Allen releases from independent bottlers ever since. There it is, it's the Port Allen 12 year old bottled to commemorate the visit of Her Majesty the Queen to the Port Allen Maltings, which is just sold at Whiskey Auctioneer for an eye-watering £72,000. That's over a 2,000% increase in less than 10 years. And if you've got any bottles of Port Allen that you would like valuations on or advice on how best to sell, please get in touch and make sure you subscribe because we've got lots more content coming this way soon.